guys, it's KB Props here, I'm back. Um, sorry for a little bit of delay. My laptop was having problems and I had to get it fixed. For now, I'm back. I'm back in it. And I thought today I could show you what programs I use to build my Iron Man suits. So right now, this program I'm using is called Pepakura Viewer. Um, this is the free version of Pepakura. You know, it's still pretty good. It's awesome, I, except, uh, actually. Because um, you can still see the files. You can look at it. You know, you can, you know, change your color of it to say printer color, but it's still printed out in color. You can see the edges. You, you can make it smooth to see how it looks like if you're going to be doing um, bundling and resining. Uh, you can see the cuts where it all connects. So right now, this is the Mark III Iron Man helmet by Dancing Fool. It was modified by JF Custom for speed builds, which I actually use a lot of JF Custom files, so he's a really good... Um, really good guy. He's pretty awesome. He's really nice to talk to. You know, he gives you tips. And basically, this is the uh, Mark III. The the cons about Procure Viewer is you don't have all the settings in Designer. Like you can't modify it. Like you can print it out. You know, and it shows you. You click on it. Like if you want to see the back of the head, it shows you where it all connects. You know, back, ears, the front faceplate sides you know it's still pretty cool if you want you can use it you know and this is basically purple core designer this one you have to pay for it it's not free it but it's, it's you can the money is worth it you know what you can do is you can like you can design the files you can alter them you can change the size of it like for me I'm six foot three so it's I'm pretty tall. I'm a pretty tall guy, so I have to change around and change the scale for it to fit perfectly, which I'm still learning. But when Mark Seven it came out fine, I just printed it out because they said that was the full six foot, six foot, and that was perfect for me. It, just, it was the only missing missing the tie guards. But the designer is pretty awesome. You can change, look at it, the three D menu, and you can change the scale. Basically, it shows you the height, the width, the depth. I usually for my helmets, I just put it bigger, a 10% bigger because I got a big head. <laughs> so it's pretty difficult trying to find the right size. So I just put 10% bigger and it usually comes out perfect for me. You know, before I had a big afro, but now it's just I cut my hair. So it still, it fits perfectly. So the pros about designer, you can change the scale, you can change the parts, you can take parts away. Like if, you look, if I look over here. This is the parts away he took from this for his speed speed build, and I think Stealth did a walkthrough of how to convert files to foam, but I think he took it down since some um, some problems were going on and people were sharing stuff without giving him credit, so he took all the stuff down. But X Robots from I mean, Jace Brown, he gives a really good tutorial. He modified files from from Perpacura. From basically from Perkuba to foam. So this all I have is foam files. I think the one oh, I'm not gonna show you. The one that I have for is for resin for Perkura for car stock. I'm gonna have to find it, so give me a minute. Yes, I I have a lot of files. Yeah, I only have I only have the Iron Man. People telling me oh you only build an Iron Man. I'm not. I got other products, I got the Batman, Dragon Ball C, which I'm a big fan, Full Metal Alchemist, which is Alphonse suit, which I'm pretty excited, the Halo Armor, the Mortal Kombat one, this is one for car stock, so this is like a lot more details that you originally see, you can tell, which is, this basically takes patience and time, which I'm pretty bad in patience, and I don't have car stock, because you gotta rest in it and bundle it. It just takes a lot of time and, you know, it's harmful. So I try, I just do cardboard builds. And then sooner or later I'm going to move to foam. So this is, you know, all the Mortal Kombat mask. The last one was Scorpion. This is Reptile. Cybot. Scorpion mask. I think this one's from Mortal Kombat. The latest one. Not the new one. The sword. Smoke and my favorite character Sub Zero since I was a little kid. I would beat ass with everybody with Sub Zero. So, this basically, that's about it. That's all I wanted to show you guys today. 
um, basically awesome having Pupakura. I think people do freehand builds, which are awesome, and I have a lot of talent, but I don't have that much talent to do freehand builds. So yeah, this is um you know if you like the video, please support me, like like and comment, and please share and subscribe with other people who are inter interested in this build and making replica suits pretty easy. So yeah, see you in the see you in the next video.